And now to South, the main opposition party in Angola, the National Union for the Total Independence of Angola, UNITA, has urged the Constitutional Court to hear its appeals and invalidate the declaration of the election results that gave victory to President João Lourenço's MPLA. Chairman and presidential candidate of UNITA, Adalberto Costa Jr., has said that discrepancies of over 500,000 votes changed the official result. The Angolan National Electoral Commission, CNE, in response to the petition, asked the Constitutional Court to reject the appeals launched by the UNITA, Bloco Democratico and the Casa CE coalition contesting the official results of the elections. A spokesman for the electoral body, Lucas Quilundo, said his team had done their job correctly. Right now, Francisco Ungongo, a political and economy analyst, is joining me on the news to discuss this development. Thank you, Francisco, for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure, Francisco. Now, we see that the war of words between the opposition party and the Electoral Commission in Angola seems to be unending. Do you think that the call by the total independence of Angola, that's the UNITA party, is justified? Yeah, thank you for again for the question. But um, this is a very challenging question for everybody in Angola is asking. Uh, the the call is uh, according to the to the Onita leader is um, is based on uh, on on ballot uh, ballot uh, papers they they got that uh, they are claiming that um, the, the the election result did need does not correlate with the data that they got. So they are asking the, 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 the National Co Commission for Election to, rec rec to verify and with the, the ballot paper they got and the, the one they have, uh, they don't know where they got the result. So, but uh, to get the answer for this, I think uh, it's very difficult for uh, the UNITA to get what they want. Uh, uh, I think they are just going to the process as uh, uh, asked by law, but I, I don't think they are going to get uh, uh, the court is going to to rule in in favor of UNITA. It's, All right. it's very, um, I'm okay. very optimistic, pessimistic. Okay. Now, Francisco, we also hear that there have been repeated calls for the Constitutional Court to hear the appeals of the opposition party. What is your take on that? Yes, that's that is a good pro, uh, process they are going on because they want to follow as uh, the law requires. But uh, it's very difficult that the the, the, the the constitutional court is going to uh, is going to rule in their favor because the president of the, that court is nominated by the is dominated by the ruling party and is nominated by the president as well as the 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 the, the, com the electoral commission so the same reaction that they got from the electoral commission is the one they are going to get to, to from the court i don't think the court is going to that will be a miracle if it's happened we'll be all happy that something new is happening in the country but uh, many people are pessimistic that that will be the outcome of the uh, unita appeal okay uh, now, finally, Francisco, before we let you go, I would like to ask this final question. At Alberto Costa Jr. appears to be taking the post-election um, tussle very seriously. So how popular would you say his ideals are in Angola? Uh, the, the ideas are very popular, mainly here in capital city. Uh, with everybody is disappointed with the, the, the election result because uh, the people in the capital city, they vote for the, the opposition. They didn't vote for the ruling party. And then they, they were big hope that this election is going to bring about change. Then uh, that's why uh, there are many pessimistic people who are thinking that the election was, uh, the vote was stolen, for, uh, mainly from the, the province where uh, the rural area, where there is no control, there is nothing. So uh, people are still hoping that something can happen so that the, the, national, um, ele the, the, the national Electoral Commission can accept to recount the vote. Because if that happens, then it can give the, the, the victory, although the, the, maybe the victory to the opposition party. We don't know. We don't have 
evidence from those side, uh, uh, the, the, the both side. Okay, and but quickly, the, the, how, how yeah. do you think the Angolans are handling this, the people of Angola? The people of Angola, I think the people of Angola, they are tired. Uh, they want to see a change. Uh, so many people, many young people did their best to vote for the change, but it didn't happen. How, we don't know. So that's uh, the, the opposition party is, is, is fighting. So everyone is hoping that maybe this time the constitutional court can change their mind. They can listen to the voice of the opposition. And uh, so the people of Angola are disappointed because it, it has been too many years for one party ruling. And the, the poverty is very high. The, the, the number of uh, unemployed youth is very high. So they want to see at least what will happen with a, a new uh, party because it's not about the person, it's about the, the ruling party. Because you can change the people with the ruling party, but if it's the same, the, the same party, they, say, they, they still have the same ideolo ideology, and then it's not going to help the, the economic development and to the, the, the fight uh, against poverty and discrimination. So majority of Angolan people, many in the capital city, are very disappointed with uh, the, the ele election result. All right. Political and economy analyst Francisco Ngongo, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. A pleasure.